Well, everybody, again, another month down, so here are all the games that I beat for June. The very first game that I beat for June was Last Blade 2. I found Last Blade 2 on PlayStation Premium slash Essentials or whatever, and I said that I wanted to find every Last Blade game because I liked the one on the Neo Geo Pocket Color, and this one was good as well. Uh, it's also difficult. Uh, the friends and people that are you're battling are not easily defeated, so you have to figure out their combos and what they do. Um, one quick slash and they get you and they knock you out and you're done. So, it's worth the time if you have PlayStation Premium for sure. Another one is a classic and that is Oregon Trail, the newest one that is from 2022. I played this on stream, had a good time, uh, did not finish it on stream, so I had to go back later on another day, and I had Chris James and Dizzy in the wagon and a bunch of other random names, I just didn't think of anybody else. And fun fact, Chris James and Dizzy got into a fight about something about the wagon, and Dizzy decided to leave. Don't know what happened to Dizzy, I think Dizzy survived because it didn't say that he perished and it still had on the screen on the bottom that there was somebody running around. So, yeah. Chris James, unfortunately, died of dysentery, and uh, the other characters all perished but one. So, Dizzy is off in the void, didn't make it to Oregon, and the other character <laughs> made it. So, thankfully, I did get to Oregon, but with only one character. The third game was Arcade Paradise. This is a game where you are a young woman and you find out that your mother has passed away and you decide to take over the laundromat. And your dad's like, man, I just run the laundromat. Don't worry about it. There's a bunch of arcade cabinets in the back if you want to have like a quick free time or you just want to like revamp them and just make a few quick dollars, that's fine. So you decide, you know what? I'm gonna make an arcade in the back. And then the arcade is very successful, so you're like, I can make this work. I can make a lot of money for the family, we can get this going, and so you just keep going. You keep working at it, and you get all the way to where the arcade is literally taking over the, arc like, the laundromat. You don't have much machines left, and you make the decision to keep going. I'm gonna try to make this just all an arcade. Uh, I love the twist in the middle. There is a twist in the middle where you don't, I don't want to spoil it, but you don't know what's going to happen in the future of the game. So definitely, based on a true story, highly recommend it. If you can find it on any it's like Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox, definitely try it out. Then I decided to buy Goosebumps the game for the Switch, and it's a point and click. Um, it's a lot easier than a lot of the point and clicks because it's geared towards kids, but it's basically the first Goosebumps reboot movie where it's got Jack Black in it, and you battle all the characters from the books, and you are a brother and sister duo, and you have to go through and get to your house, but the house reminds you of Welcome to Dead House, and you have spirits, and you have to figure out what to bring those spirits to make them happy to get your house back, and then you have to go through and you battle like the plant things, and, and the monster blood, and different things like that. I enjoyed it, but it's not for everybody, it's a point and click game, so not everybody's gonna be into point and clicks, so highly recommend it for all my point and click character people who love that, right up your alley. Next game, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, but it's Ho Ho Kim, I believe, and it's a weird game um, when you first start playing it. It reminds me of Flower and Flow and Journey, those games where you are just guided nowhere. You don't know what's going on, you're dropped into a little a level and you have to figure out what is this little creature you are, what are the other creatures, you have to find them, they are friends, they have names. It was so interesting to see all the names of the characters. Um, I didn't know what they were. They look like snakes, but I don't know if they really were. And you are given a puzzle in the level, but you don't know what the puzzle is until you finally get through to it. And then you're like, hmm, this looks familiar. Do I have to match these up? Do I have to do this? Do I have to spin this? Do I have to find all the characters, bring them to a certain location? So it's a lot of backtracking to find the new level because it's not all there throughout the way. So you'll be going through and all of a sudden you're like, what is this? I don't get this. I don't understand. And it can be, it can be a time where you're, you're lost. And I spent about eight hours on this game because probably two or three of them was I was lost just trying to look for another level because I kept finding all the levels that I had found previously 
and when you get to a specific level it's like dark and then you have to like light it up and illuminate it and then you find all the ones that you have already found and then you have to go back and find them again and then you have to go okay so i went this way it's like a little map it has like a tree map like you have to go through this one to get to that one and then you remember that there was like a hidden area with three things so you have to find this definitely not for everybody as like the other game uh i recommend it if you are into journey you love journey things like that but other than that it's a good game i liked it and another game for the switch was phoenix wright ace attorney this was on sale as a bundle of three of the handheld games ported for the switch you are phoenix wright a defense attorney and it kind of reminds me of donka rampa where you have to investigate what happened take all your clues that you have earned and go to trial and you have to defend your client and stop the person who has framed your client. Most of the time you know right away that it's like this person could have done that. And so you take all the clues, you have to cross-examine the people and it's so funny because you they yell like, OBJECTION all the time. <laughs> so you hear it and you just hear like a little typing sound but it's a good game. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I got it on sale for the, the bundle. It was like $10. I don't know how long the sale is going. Probably because they have another set of Phoenix Wright games coming out. So maybe that's why they're doing this sale. But definitely recommend it even if it's full price. You get three games and they're about $10-15 bucks a piece on regular price. Highly recommend these games. I enjoyed them. I like Donka Rampa. I like this game. I'm going to play the other ones all the way through and have a blast doing it. Then after some investigation games, I decided to play another Puyo Puyo Tetris type game and it's called Kirby's Avalanche. Fun game. It's literally just like the Bomberman and all the other games that are Puyo Puyo Tetris style where you battle a character from that storyline and you have to keep going to the very end. It got so difficult about three or four of the end levels and I had to keep playing them over and over again. Loved Kirby, he interacts with the little board, so when you do something cool, or you do like a big combo, he dances or he jumps around, so you get distracted by Kirby a little bit, you're like, come on Kirby, don't distract me, I need to finish this to beat the guy. And then you get to the very end, it's, it's a fun time, I enjoyed it, I recommend it to anybody who loves battle games, or Puyo Puyo Tetris, or anything Tetris altogether. This is gonna be right up your alley. Um, I do recommend that you take your time with it and figure out the strategy for each character to beat them because there is strategy. And another Switch game, but this one is an FMV game. I enjoyed it. It was Mia and the Dragon Princess. This I played on stream and I had the chat help me pick choices and then I didn't like the ending so I played it one more time to get the ending that I did like. Basically, you are Mia and you see a woman just sitting by a trash can and she doesn't speak English and you're trying to figure out what language she speaks so you have to take her back into your bar that you work at and you ask some people to help you out and they translate and you find out that it's Mandarin and another language, I can't remember which one it was, but she's talking to you telling you that she needs something in the bar and you don't know where it is. So you have to figure out what's in the bar and you can tell this person's not from your time. So you're trying to get through and then all of a sudden a bunch of bad guys show up and um, I enjoyed the game. It turned into a Hellraiser scenario <laughs> and it was more action packed and more thriller than it was anything horror based, but Boxes moving equals Hellraiser, and I don't like that. Then I played another fighter, and this one is a King of Fighters game. Um, I didn't play a PlayStation 3 games at all, so when this was out, I didn't pick it up because I wasn't picking up a lot of games for PlayStation 3 and, and Xbox 360. I enjoyed this one. Uh, this again is a three on three, so when you get to the very end, it's a story. It actually has a story to it. Um, you are battling a group of people who are trying to bring back some like demon thing and then the demon thing shows up at the very end and you lose, you open up the gate. If you don't, you stop the, the creature from opening up the gate. You're, you're thinking, oh, you're done. But uh, newsflash, second form, be prepared for another character. So <laughs> I had a good time with this King of Fighters. I enjoyed it. I love King of Fighter games. Um, the one thing was I loved about this version was it was based on 
who knew each other. So there was a set of like of King of Fighters, there was Terry and um, all the other ones, and then there was a set of three for if you're Art of Fighting, a set of three for just the female characters. So whatever your, your cup of tea was, if you like the beefy tanky guys, or you like the, the fighters that are more throwing, or you like the fighters who are more into kicks, there's your style. You could choose and pick what you like, and you can go with that, but I had a good time with this one. The game was called Nightbook. This is an FMV game, just like me and the Dragon Princess, from the same developer slash publisher, and basically it is way more dark than me and the Dragon Princess. This is a thriller slash horror game, and pretty much what it is is you're a young woman who gets stuck with your father and you're trying to figure out what to do and your baby daddy's overseas and you're pregnant and you're trying to make it work so you get a job as an interpreter. You speak French and you learn a new dialect so you're trying to help out a few people and this gentleman wants to buy a book. So the American or the British person, whoever calls up and is trying to negotiate and you find out through some of the talks that the book has something strange going on. So you look at the book and you're interpreting it and stuff strange things start happening in your apartment and you're like oh crap did I let something out that I wasn't supposed to let out and the father starts acting weird more than normal and you start seeing things on your security camera so you're trying to get out of the apartment but lo and behold you keep forgetting things and you have to get out but your dad you worry about your dad so you have to figure out what to do with that so it's really creepy. I liked it. I enjoyed the game. Uh, there's multiple endings just like any FMV game, but I got probably a bad one because I let the chat choose. Not mad at the chat, but I don't know, maybe the choices I chose led to two bad endings because it said either destroy the book or read the book. And either way, I think I pissed off the spirits. So I had a good time with this game and had a recommendation again of only if you're into horror games try this one. You have it everybody. I beat another 10 games for the month. Let me know. What was your highlight for this month? Did you have any good ones? Or where are you at? How are you enjoying this? Keeping track? Let me know. And if you're new, check out a couple other videos. Give me a sub if you like the content. And if you like the video, give it a like. I'll catch you next time. Bye everybody. the gamer gal she's here she's playing games linda the gamer gal she's here she's playing games